My special guests in the studio this evening are Charlie Farley Sunday Four. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We've, we've turned them up as well so we can hear them yeah. and uh, it, it's been years that I've been trying to get them to come into the studios and uh, uh, we will talk about the time when I went to their studio a bit later on but we've got to uh, change everything around tonight because one of them's got to leave his uh, curfew order finishes at 6.30 and the parole officer said he's got to be back so yeah. well, we will it'll blow his foot clean. sorry sorry I don't I, I'm talking all over you there. No, I was just saying if his anklet goes off, it'll blow his foot off. It so will. We've got to be careful of these little ankle bracelets that they give out nowadays. Curtis, Motorola, huh? Yeah, it's one of the few things that you do get free nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> Everything else you have to pay for. But look, I, I won't waste time gabbling on because uh, we're going to shoehorn all your songs into the first 20 minutes that we have left. And then after that, you've brought along some exclusive tracks and you'll be coming in to join me in this this studio and we'll be talking about all things Farley related so what's the first song you're going to do for us okay this is one of mama's songs um, and it's such a good song that after it was stolen from her the artists that stole it broke it up into two separate songs uh, what we've done is we've taken those two songs back and put them back together as mama first uh, first envisaged it and this is called uh, somebody that I used to wreck Somebody that I used to know 
used to know Now you're just somebody that I used to know I keep it like a wrecking ball I never hit so hard in love All I wanted was to break the wall All you ever did was let it hit me I keep it like a wrecking ball I never hit so hard Absolutely fantastic. That's the first song from my guests in the studio this evening who are Charlie Farley Sunday 4. And uh, do you have to swap instruments or anything? Or they are swapping instruments as, as we speak. speak. Uh, you see, Playing musical instruments, as a good friend of mine would say. Yeah, we're going to let uh, Bruce Farley sing the next one. It's dangerous, we know. He, it's dangerous. Bruce, your listeners should probably be warned, is the most fertile man in Britain. Yeah. So it's very likely that during this song, some of your listeners may well find themselves impregnated remotely by radio waves. That's right, in the family uh, way. If that should happen, they should. Uh, it's you they sue, isn't it, Keith? It's uh, absolutely, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's me. Personally. My name's Alex Woods. Yes, good. <laughs> yes, Alex. Yeah, a slightly interesting thing is uh, Jim Chancellor from the from the Steve label, the, the guy you just played. Yes. Jim Chancellor used to be my manager when I was in a band with Al, Al Murray. <laughs> was he really? Yes. He's with Fiction Records now. Yeah, he probably stays a very canny man. He's also the brother of Justin Chancellor out of Tool. Um, is he any relation to Chancellor's Bar? <laughs> <laughs> They've just shut that. Like to be. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Only by proxy. He's never been barred from anything. He's too nice. A one, right. two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Charlie Farley Sunday Four with Brother Bruce singing there. That's the first time I've seen you not blowing anything, Bruce. Uh, yeah. Steady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pre show, pre watershed, Keith. Come on now. Yeah, uh, my watershed starts at 10 o'clock <laughs> right, in the morning. With a gin. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, speaking of um, Bruce being the most fertile man in Britain, uh, have you ever seen the film The Most Fertile Man in Ireland? Oh, no, no. We believe that uh, there's a legal suit underway. Isn't that yeah. about, Bruce? I, I, I've got a feeling it might be. There's a great quote here from it. It's uh, from one of the female qu- characters talking to her friend, and she says, Eamon. Women are like microwave ovens. You need them to heat up your noodles, but you have no idea how they work. What a great title for a song. I'd best let you get on. Uh, We're going to play you um, a cover now, Keith. We don't normally play covers, as you know. Absolutely. Uh, But this one one is a cover. This is a song by Fingers McKees, the famous jazz musician Fingers McKees. And it's from his live piano album that he recorded in Portsmouth, I'm sure you own it keith you know uh fingers mckees on keys at the keys that uh, album uh, and this song is called game let me tell you little brother every time you've been messing me around the whole town playing them wrong chords sitting outside them restaurants drinking down that dinner 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 lunchtime it ain't gin time. Well, you're not the only game in town. But 
Only cover you'll ever hear from Charlie Farley Sunday Four, and uh, have, have we got time to just shoehorn one more in before uh, before the? Uh, the I'm not going to say his name to to uh, save his family the mystery Farley embarrassment. Disappear. Sorry. Before the mystery Farley. Yes, before the mystery Farley. That's what we call him, the mystery Farley. Sure. Right. So from now on, Charlie, you're known as the mystery Farley, so no one knows who you are. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Perfect. Keith. You're That's welcome. Great. Don't worry, Keith. We'll slag him off the moment he's out the door. Don't, don't worry. We've got an hour and, hour and 20 minutes of two I'll be that, I believe. <laughs> you won't be listening. All the way to Guildford, mate. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to play you one last original by Mama. And uh, this is one we've been playing. I believe we've played this every single gig we've ever played. Since eight years. the uh, yeah, for eight years. Yeah, and since the the formation of the Byzantine Empire. And yet we <laughs> still might well <laughs> cock it up. So. <laughs> Turkish delight on a moonlit night Every girl in Constantinople is in Istanbul Not Constantinople So if you were dating Constantinople I should be waiting in Istanbul Even though New York was once New Amsterdam Why they changed it I can't say People just liked it better that way Don't take me back in Constantinople No, you can't go back to Constantinople in a long time Constantinople. And why did Constantinople get the word? That's nobody's business but the church. Oh. Charlie Farley Sunday 4 sounding great as ever and uh, that's the uh, finish of the live session from them but we do have some exclusive live recording so it'll be sort of live but not and uh, that'll be on in a little while when they join me here in the studios in the meantime this is going to be the next single from Circa Waves Circa waves and stuck in my teeth and since they've uh, becoming more prominent they seem to be getting a bit more poppy as well let's hope that uh, that doesn't uh, carry on too far and they just go in one direction boom boom <laughs> <laughs> oh god so i'm leaving <laughs> i'm joined by jay farley yes. who has uh, hot footed it from the studio and left everyone else to do yeah, the to work basically up. great so it's a uh, it's great and with bruce being there there's there's lots of things to to pack up as well isn't there oh bruce played 
plays pretty much every instrument known to man. Yeah. So uh, and then he, he, as those of you who've seen us live will know, he plays them on an enormous skeletal structure that he builds before every gig. I mean, he's been here since about five this morning. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, getting out. I mean, on the radio, we thought. He'd didn't really need to bother with the lights and the no. tinsel and all that but, but yeah he's a perfectionist I, I was impressed the way all those sort of like what, what do you call them sort of like streamer cannons yeah confetti cannons Confe- confetti, confetti cannons. cannons the way that went off you know yeah. we haven't even got a webcam i know but, it's a um, shame because your studio is just so full of confetti yeah, now it is, i mean it looked brilliant it yeah. looked brilliant it gave us some atmosphere and some some you know something to think about well, poor alex all he worries about is the gum on the floor now he's got all that to tidy up as well yeah well, but bruce is outside imagine. looking through the window he, he can't hear us though come on in yeah, well, oh he can, can hear us he i don't know how he can hear us is he, uh-huh. does it does it broke because i'm never out there you see no he's got amazing ears oh, really right. amazing that, that's ears. great you come through the soundproof studio yeah so are you looking for a seat uh no i, I have a seat right come seat. in here come around this microphone so we've buddy. been joined by we were just talking about you bruce we and then you suddenly appeared well yes well you, you talk about him and he shall appear. and he yeah. should appear so yeah, that's if you build well, it. You, i can yes. hear you both fine actually i didn't really need headphones no, you don't and they're not plugged in so that would be a bit pointless but, no, that's an XLR, dude. That's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, th- you see, you're, you're about as technically minded as I am. Th- this is why I was left see- to do the pack up. Yes. Because if I was doing the pack up right <laughs> yeah. now, we'd be uh, we'd be making something beautiful out we'd of those. We'd have saxophones in drum we'd cases. Have- <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. Wrapped in wires. Uh, your drums in tin foil. And, yeah. yeah. Shortly followed by my murder by yeah. Adam yeah. would kill me oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's very finicky very, right? very it, we are not going through to the studio are we I'm just checking that oh there. if we're not it seems but, uh, they can hear us in there can they? oh right. he's saying yes we are oh, so good, good. Uh, we'll stop talking Excellent. about Adam now. no that's good that's the whole point I, it's hardly <laughs> worth making an effort if he can't hear it we like to be passive aggressive uh, in I, the band we're not really yeah. much for full aggression and I think it's quite fortunate Adam's not in here because frankly you have too many knobs dials buttons and things to press and he just wouldn't be able to resist he would oh, be, believe, believe me he came in last week <laughs> with a uh, chair and started touching the desk there you go he will yeah. you see he can't help himself you just don't let Adam anywhere near a no, desk no he isn't he's like a kid in a sweet it, shop yeah. he's compulsive yeah he's, it is compulsive it's an illness it is it's a disorder, I would think actually. it is actually yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can find uh, support information he if is you sick. have that, can't you? Yeah, on if, if you uh, go and to... When, when um, we say he's sick, kids, you know, we don't mean that he's sort of like cool. No, we don't we mean he's sick, ill. Sick yeah, like yeah he's sick, yeah. yeah. But you can get help online, and if you go to www.nobproblem.co.uk... Yeah, 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 that, that, uh, that, that I think will immediately that, yeah. sort your problem. Yeah. Right, you've just ruined a great career that I had going here on Radio <laughs> Wogan, but never mind. It was good to have you we're, as my last ever guest <laughs> on the radio. We're still talking about mixing we're desks. We're still talking oh, about good. twiddling yeah, what, knobs what, what on are you talking desk, about? Keith. Where are you at right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, t- I'll take this tag off and put it on you. <laughs> yes, good idea. Yeah, I've got one of my own actually. <laughs> but they let, they let me out. This is therapy, you see, oh, and they they, they they believe it's a way of getting me back into the community. So uh, they <laughs> yeah. allow me it till eight o'clock. You got to be very careful. You mustn't let the streams cross or something. Yeah. We yeah, open a portal into the next world. Exactly next right. And, and I d- I just realised that, and I I had my legs crossed there, and I've just sort of, like uncrossed them. You've worried me. <laughs> now you see perhaps i should have I, too. I, yeah. I could see i could see that that uh 1980s program where they used to jump into a tunnel and go round and round and round time tunnel time tunnel right yeah, <laughs> yeah why couldn't i think of it and end up somewhere else yeah <laughs> ma didn't allow us a tv no we weren't allowed a tv but what i've done is in the evenings i look at black and white photos of tv programs and i've learned to identify them from those i've never actually seen a tv but you no. know, but no you've time. seen photographs of the screen. I've seen photographs of TVs. Yeah, it, it looks like fun. It looks a bit stupid, to be honest. Well, I must say that uh, plenty of the stuff that I watch is very, very stupid. Yeah, but, that, that, uh, that's yeah, what we think. Yeah, when uh, but they they have talent programs, you see, and dogs win them. I've and then it. I've yeah. heard yeah. this: that yeah. dogs win TV shows. Well, you know. dogs plural, apparently. Win yeah. Them, yes. Yeah, that's good Which because I, there are no talented humans left in this country. No. Although I did, I think I've heard about that program of which you speak and uh, from what I understand you don't actually have to in any way be British to win Britain's got Got talent talent. no no which seems to me to to be self-defeating it does doesn't it's like Australia being in Eurovision 
Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. If they'd won Are it, they? yeah, they were this yeah, year they as were, a special. Yeah. If they'd have won it, would we have had to host next year's one in Australia? In Australia? Oh, oh yeah. that would have been good. Would have been nice weather in Australia. It's it, lovely. It well, actually, it's winter there now, isn't it? It is, but I've just got back from there, and their winter is still better than our spring. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's really oh. nice. Oh, right. Okay. It, this is why uh, Jay Farley is sporting. Well, I was going to say a tan, but he's not blue for a change. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, normally I I do look like I could get burnt off a sort of. Um, summer holiday brochure don't I yes. catch a nasty burn off of that yeah just look at a photo of yeah. the sunshine oh, can a be beach. a problem yeah. I know melanomas everywhere I know the feeling yeah, yeah. it's deadly my, my head yeah Yeah. You, after got... a few hours in the sun the next three weeks I'm peeling yeah exactly uh, so, so we try and avoid the summer that's an attractive prospect yeah uh, it, thanks for sharing it is unless you're sitting next to me and you've got spaghetti bolognese and you don't know how much parmesan you've got on there and i sneeze that that was keith who went there that was keith who went there i think what we'll do is we'll play another song what's the next song we've got on the list ah dringe right bring us back to uh normality dringe who were a two-piece for many years and are now a three-piece they've got a drummer have they had a baby no, they've got a drummer. They they, they gave birth that, that to is a the same thing. Though, that is actually. like having a baby. Having, having a drummer a in the band is like yeah. having a baby. Yeah, yeah. our it's, drummer it's is painful. You don't sleep. They're very small. Yeah, in our experience, really expensive. They're very expensive. All the kit you've got to you drag around with you. I, t- yeah. I tell you, it is like having a baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play dreams. And then when you split okay. up, someone else gets them. Right, the more astute amongst you sitting at home will have noticed that that wasn't, in fact, Drenge. No, Drenge couldn't make it because no. they've had a baby. Yes. So they, they, they couldn't no, do it. No, it's a drummer. Oh, yeah. they've had a drummer. Yeah. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the long and short of it, really. But uh, I, as that was playing away, we were standing here chatting, and I suddenly thought, that doesn't sound like Drenge at all. It's yes. actually... LX there. It should be and, uh, pointed out. You you didn't realise that for quite a while. No, did you? I didn't fact, none know of us because actually uh, realised that for quite I, some time. I, I wasn't concentrating. I was talking to you, and uh, it suddenly dawned on me after about a minute that it wasn't Dringe, and it was LX and a track called Lost in LA. And I may have a little bit of a story there about this uh, track. So uh, let me have a look. No, I haven't. So I'll give that <laughs> back to uh, Bruce. But we have uh, that yeah. track. That track was written, uh, Bruce. Can you remember where where that one was written by LX? Uh, um, it's th- called Lost in LA, isn't it? Uh, yeah, which yeah. is bizarre because they were in Mumbai at the time. They were in That's Mumbai. That's how lost they were. But they decided to appeal to a more American audience, didn't they? Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. by because uh, they released Lost in Mumbai, obviously. Uh, that didn't it do it. It tanked. It tanked, absolutely. Yeah. And it was strange because it was the same song. Same yeah. song, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, very peculiar. Very peculiar being in the music business. Well, that's, uh, that's what marketing's all about, though, isn't it? You know, it's not necessarily the product. It's 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 how you name it, how you put it out there. Yeah, absolutely. And I think there's a lesson there for all of us. Yeah, they did. I, I remember they did that viral marketing thing where they used to go and get lost in LA, didn't they? Yeah. And uh, when people went, are you lost? They'd go, no, but have our record yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're brilliant. Brilliant marketing. Clever marketing. Yeah, clever yeah. marketing. Anyway, I forgot to do this 25 the minutes ago. The music's all drum machine. <laughs> Empress of them, water, water. And uh, there I do have a uh, a story about water, water and a little song that we used to sing at primary school, but I won't be singing that, definitely not, until a little bit later, because my primary school was... Uh, it wasn't one of those prep schools, let's it was, put it that uh, way. It was Jimmy Savile Comprehensive, wasn't it? No, don't. Don't even go there. Okay. Don't even go there. <laughs> oh, right. Now, there's a little bit of a story behind there. Empress of is not her real name, right? Um, That's disappointing. It, yes, it is really, because isn't her it? her surname is The Earth. So, you know, Empress of the, the Earth. Earth. That was a nice name. Yeah, nice it would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah. It, would have, it would have made a nice I role-playing t- game as well. I just can't stand those acts that make up names. Yeah, no, God. No. No, no, it's so... Uh, well, it's cheap. Can yeah. I tell the story of this? It's sorry, taken me yeah, ages sorry, to absolutely, research absolutely. it. Thank you very much. And uh, apparently... Ages. It, he typed it into Google. This this was... I don't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I cut and paste what they send me. <laughs> all right. So uh, all, all the secrets are coming out tonight, aren't they? And, uh, and, and actually... Actually, that, that has shattered the illusion that I've given, that I just know it, right? Yeah. And I'm not reading it. I thought you did. You see, there you are, you see. And this this is what happens when you come back seat. 
and see where the sort of like all all the magic and mystery it's like yeah. the is made. Of Oz. It's like the Wizard of Oz, Keith. I'm I'm shattered. Yes, it's just I've looked behind the curtain. Are oh, you saying it's just I'm a, a man there? <laughs> I'd say you look great in green. <laughs> I I I could see myself in green. Shall I tell you this story? Please do. Yeah. Laura Lee is her name, and she was uh, she was on her own. It's New Year's Eve in the village of Val de Bravo, which means Valley of the Brave. Now I can't speak that language. I don't know what language it is, but even I could have worked out that was Valley oh. of the Brave. I yeah. mean, all they've done is dropped off a Y and changed the O for an E. Right? I thought it might be a valley where people win things a lot. People go bravo, well, bravo. like that. Yeah. 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 Yes, well, no, Where it's was not. the valley? Does it say what country? It's, yes, it does. Ah, it does. Italy. I'm quite intrigued. Italy. You say Italy. Now, where do I'm you say? I'm somewhere in South America. Oh, yeah, Mexico. Oh, oh Mexico. Mexico. Spot on. Uh. You see? Spot on. Valley of the Brave in Mexico. And she's five weeks into a formative writing retreat. Right? <laughs> a formative <laughs> a writing formative retreat. A formative writing retreat. We see where this going, can't yeah. we? we yeah. see. Good job I'm saying this after we've listened to it's the record. Brilliant. Really, About an hour it? or two after I finish work for the day that's when my formative, formative writing, writing retreat starts. begins every yes. night yeah. yes. Yes. yes and she was sitting alone on the lake right there now that is a trick in itself that really sitting, right. on sitting on a lake yep. maybe right. she is an empress and I'll tell you what I hope a she's not I hope she's not a karate expert and listening she'll right. come she, running she'll across. be round here <laughs> yeah, could, that could be her real name empress of all I survey, Indeed. the karate expert. Should come running right. across the lake. I'm not going to tell you the story. No, tell us the story. No, no, no. no. Story. no I'm not going to do it. Right, okay. We're going to make this last all night. So, if we so, have to. so she's, much of it left? she's actually sitting alone on the lake with a pile of fireworks, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> Right. I like her. Okay. This is this is great, well, isn't it? This you is should have had her here. This She'd is have been the formative she sounds, writing. Yeah. She right? sounds awesome. A lot more interesting than us. Sounds like a damp squib to me. Lo- <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's thinking about water, as you would if you are sitting on a lake with a lot of fireworks. The water around her, the water she can drink and the water she can't drink, and water, water, the song she was working... Didn't Samuel Colvidge do this before? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, in, in the rhyme of the ancient mariner... He did talk extensively water, water, about water. but not a drop to drink. Indeed. Right? And uh, this was the song that she was working upon on that day, and as time slowly passed into New Year, she wrote the song. Did she set the fireworks off? No. You, you know why she didn't set the fireworks off? Because she was on a lake. Sitting exactly. on a lake, you can't set, you can't plant a firework, firework in, a, in lake. a lake. No, great songwriter, terrible at firework displays. Absolutely, it's just I a mean, dull night. Your yeah. your rocket would have become a torpedo. Your rocket would have just just flaccidly sunk. She's a very lonely woman. November fifth, yeah, yeah, November fifth, trying to do her water it's fireworks New Year's display. Eve. Well, and also, New Year's well, she's Eve, been there yeah. since. They yes. don't have November the fifth in Mexico. They go from fourth to six. Do she live straight in Mexico? Through. Straight through. Pardon? Does she live in Mexico? No, she lives on a lake. Yeah, she lives on a lake. I'm confused a, now. She lives in a boat made of fireworks. I might have to yeah. read this for myself. Yeah. Right, OK. Well, I don't think you've explained this very clearly at all, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> That's the B and a track called River and a B on Naeem. Naeem? <laughs> Try that one again. Naomi and Lisa Candadiez. And they're actually the daughters of the late Cuban percussionist Anger Diaz. Naomi plays percussive instruments... Dushing. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you play go- those? I'm going nowhere with this, Keith, because I, I could end up in the gutter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you could do. I, I'm going to be careful what I say because you two might pick up on it. And uh, it's no use trying to read it upside down over there, Jay, because it's on this side. No, no, you're right. right. <laughs> and uh, you she plays the Carhoon and the Batters. Cajon. Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I, 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 um, <laughs> I once had New Rising in the studio. Well, right? they would have told you that. And, uh, uh, I think you've actually you've just offended all your Mexican viewers. All my Mexican viewers. <laughs> Listeners. Yes. Listeners. Yes. Yes, but you've never seen a television, so we will uh, forgive you that one. Yeah, but, we've got um, the internet, though, ironically. Yes. Well, that works yeah. fine. Yeah. Right, and do you want to know what Lisa plays? It's massively. Piano. Does she? I play oh, yeah. piano. And uh, Only the bass notes. Oh, really? What's that? Uh, t- top notes scare me. 
Mm. They're a bit harsh. Yeah. yeah, they're very tinkly, aren't they? They can be tinkly. They, they're, they're the type of things that you get when it's sort horror of like... movie soundtracks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, a lot of twinkly. Yeah. When, when, it, when it comes tinkly, you know something's going to happen. Yeah. Flight of the Bumblebee, something yeah. like that. Oh, very scary, exactly. very yeah. scary. Yeah. It, is, it is an occasion when you get to put your hand over your eyes. So that tinkly pen it comes in. Hand over it's the hard eyes. to do the tinkling with your hands over, the, over your eyes. Mm. Ah, there used to be a fella in the Three Rabbits in Manor Park... Who used to play with his feet? Oh, Played a piano with his feet. That. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, that is an excellent move. Did it sound any good, or was it dreadful? No idea. Never saw him. Ah, uh, yeah. He I was only told on this, piano. you see. Yeah. So, uh, in that, that case, I can play with my feet. I can play the absolutely. ukulele with my feet. I'll give it a go anyway. Yeah. I'll, go and, I'll go and get it out. Play yeah. the ukulele with your feet. Yeah, it won't sound any good. But I'll I give was it a watching go. a fella playing guitar with his feet on YouTube the other day. Any good? He was excellent. Absolutely excellent. How do you he finds that out? Like, what's the? How does the day go when you go? I'm going to give it. Well, unfortunately, the fella's got no arms. That's how so, you find out. Oh, sorry, yeah, hit the mic. Sorry, he had to uh, find a way to improvise. Y'all listen to Keith Woodhouse. This Lazy. is a Radio Woking. My guests in the studio are. Uh, oh, well, I'll, I've got another issue with Charlie Farley Sunday for. <laughs> I'll bring up in a minute. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, after the news, we'll be having more from them. Jolter and Apple Tree. Although I didn't see what the apple tree had to uh, do with that. Oh, yeah, no, it's one you, apple tree. You one were apple performing tree. heart surgery all the way through that one, Keith, doing your other job. Yeah, I'm very good at that, yeah, aren't I? don't pay any attention, really, yeah. to the music. I don't even think but, you like music. I didn't feel a thing. I know. No. Yeah. You see, that, that, that is it. I can hypnotise people, so we don't need the general anaesthetic, and you don't walk out sort of like slurring. It's perfect. Like you can be back at work in minutes. I can. He has bled quite a lot. He has bled a lot. Yeah, yeah but, but that's Alex's that, that's, problem. Yeah, it's not, not our problem yeah. whatsoever. We've been joined by another uh, Farley brother, so come on over and introduce yourself. Hi there, I'm, I'm J.W. Farley, and I play the drums in this band <laughs> oh, well, well, what does the jw stand for jolly wadger <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's um it stands for jw actually yeah Not bizarrely enough. it's because yeah. we're both yeah. j's we get confused so yeah. right we stuck a w in there it's because i'm the favorite yeah right you know, okay yeah letter. you, get, you get, get, yeah, yeah. Right. we could tell you what the w stands for but you wouldn't be all <laughs> no 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 no, no. <laughs> thank you oh, okay. thank you it's, long. it's only my watershed that starts <laughs> in the morning <laughs> yeah, right. it's not watershed <laughs> no no <laughs> It's, it's no, not when you get to my age. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> not, not when you get to my age. But of course, welcome to the show. You've been on my show before. I have, yes. Yes. Have come, yeah. come, come right yeah. in and tell I, us I, the story. I did it with uh, the first time was when uh, was it Way Valley? Yeah. Yeah. And we did that. I did that with plenty. Yes. With you guys and uh, Graham's now in the True Deceivers. Graham, True for Deceivers and uh, Deck. Yep, Dex Dex. in uh, Ribs now. He's isn't he? just started a new band, yes, yeah. Ribs. Really I bumped into good, him actually. at the boiler room. You see, how many years ago was that? Oh, that was 1997. 1997, which is 17, 18 years ago. Oh, yeah. That was the year you of see? the Farleys. Yeah. We were conscripted, and the rest of us, and Jay avoided conscription. Yeah, well, I, but I'm psychotic. So yeah, so they, he didn't have to go. Didn't have to go, didn't so have to he go. Just, he no. He joined other bands for a bit while the rest of us went and fought. But that was yeah. it. So who else? Duncan. Yeah, Duncan, Duncan yeah, was the Duncan other one. Well. Yeah, 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 you see. Yeah. See, I remember every. I have a band on virtually every week, so you can imagine. I do, I've been doing this for about twenty-one years now. So Duncan, you imagine oh, how many bands. I, well, I started as a fetus. You see, <laughs> I was the first broadcasting fetus in the history of radio, and uh, it, it was you know difficult, but. We we managed to uh, we managed to do it. Your links were a bit sloppy. Weren't sloppy, they? yes. That that is the word that yeah. I would use. Sloppy. Yeah. But um, yeah, and and you can imagine how many bands I come through, but plenty left such scars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that, that I remember them, yeah. and uh, yeah, I still still see other members of of the band around in in their uh, various bands. things. And in fact, I, I've got a bone to pick with Deck. If you are listening, Deck, yeah, you, we, Deck. we 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 um, we we like to give out shouts to our Mombasa posse, right? Because we're on the internet, we go all around the world. You see, so and uh, One, two. he actually said to me, "I've got." Mm-hmm. A Cousin in Mombasa, I'll sort that out. Where are we getting that from? 
could you hear someone else talking there? This is like the uh, Hendon Haunting, whatever it was, <laughs> the other week. But, um, that, that's because Adam Farley has just walked yes, into the room adjacent to the studio. In, yes. He does he's have a strange in. RF effect. Yeah. Uh, we didn't explain this earlier, but... Uh, I, I'm sure I can hear someone else can in you, these headphones. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, that's, I'm testing the mic in the other studio. Oh, you're <laughs> testing the mic in the other studio. Oh, nice one. <laughs> right, actually, I've still got you turned on, so let me turn you off. That's it, he's gone. I, I, I thought I was going crazy there. That's I could hear boom, boom. I thought you were as well. Yeah. <laughs> this is from beyond. The ghost and, uh, of the yeah, uh, sound the, the Enfield Haunting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Did you see that show? Uh, Harry, no, I've, I've got it on catch-up. Have you? Yeah. I, I won't tell you what happens. No, it's apparently scary, though. It, it, so, it, I, do, it, I, what, do, do you want to pick you up on something? Why, why are Woking Studios in Enfield? Why are working? Well, because we because it yeah. is the magic of radio. You see, we could be anywhere. Yeah, but it seems to make more sense to do it in Woking. Yeah, and why? Why did, why did we have to be in the bath? I don't really understand why we had to be because the, the bath. show and the is water. If this young lady can set off fireworks in water, you can do a radio show That's in very water. True. And yeah. we're, we're right? fireworks safe here, aren't we? This is I a firework-free zone, this is. right? It's good. And I'm not going to I say the fireworks. name of the uh, professional footballer who let off fireworks in his hotel bathroom, <laughs> not realising uh, what a mess they would make. But he's they're not known the... for intelligence, though, no. professional footballers <laughs> are, to be fair. <laughs> no, he'd make a good next president of FIFA, probably. Yeah, he I probably would, would he, wouldn't he? He'd be qualified enough to not spot things. I think we, we'll, do, we'll yeah. leave that one uh, where it stands uh, I think we just had a call from the legal department. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like we've got my, a legal department. <laughs> yeah. My, my uh, lawyer is... Uh, my lawyer and accountant, actually, <laughs> have been straight on the phone saying, you can't afford them to say any more. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to listen to them. They used to be Jimmy yeah. Carr's accountant and lawyer, yeah. didn't they? Oh, <laughs> quit. Oh, bloody hell. I'm, I'm... <laughs> you swore, Keith, not me. Yes. No, no, oh. I'm talking about his operation. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. It, it was yes. bloody. It's, it's it's awful. It was. And it was hell. It was yes, hell. Yeah. it really was. He's recovered well. Oh, well, I don't think I can walk. And no, that's all right. You don't need that. You do drumming. Is he down. the youngest member in the band as well? He's we don't talk seven. about that. It's yeah. true. It is true. Yeah. The youngest yeah, member. I started he's, as a fetus as well. Yeah, well, he's like Benjamin Button. He, <laughs> he, he, when he turned 70, he started going backwards. He's like, he's like a rebounding Benjamin Wouldn't Button. Wouldn't that be great, though, if Benjamin he turned 70? I've, I've never seen the film Benjamin <laughs> Button. Yo, yo. Benjamin Boomerang. Yes. They come like back. That, yeah. they, oh, Charlie Drake. My Boomerang Won't Come Back. Oh, what a tune. What a song. Nicked off our mother, hey? that song. Yeah, was it and really? Charlie, yeah, Charlie yeah. took our mum out, and uh, after the tea party, you know, they went back to hers, and while she was He's sleeping... He's a filthy, filthy he man, is by all accounts. filthy, filthy man. Filthy, Unwashed, I mean. Little tight, yeah, yes. no, never washed. And then uh, he stole that song from her. I like Charlie Drake. Yeah, we used to. Oh, yeah. Until yeah. he robbed our mum. I thought he was nice. No, not our I thought I was thinking I didn't have a bad Our Charlie said. <laughs> <sense. laughs> that it, really is. Does he have another one about a Hawaiian war canoe? A Hawaiian war canoe? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, our you Charlie see, doesn't have a Hawaiian Char- war canoe. He's Char- very Char- difficult Char- to say. Of those. He's got a canal barge. Is he? Yeah. No, not well. He likes the New Hawaiian Chuck Band all live on canal barges. Do they? All yeah, of them? That, that's how they met. They, they've all got their boats parked they together. They are very, very good, actually. They're excellent, the aren't they? We're they a are. a bit of a fan of them. Yes. Yeah, yes, we, yes, we like them. They stole our sound, obviously, but other than that, we love <laughs> yeah. them. We love them. Yeah. We, they are but better than us, actually. They're better at it than us. You know, when, does, when our yeah. gigs clash, we do tell people to go and see them. Yeah, uh, we They're do. a lot better than we are. Yeah, and that has helped, because some of our gigs, we get no one now, and we can just go home. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, you get a nice early night out of it. Yeah, we go home. And you don't get anything thrown at you. No, nothing thrown. When no See? one shows up, no weapons are used. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an industry It's always adage. a bonus. It is. Absolute bonus. And Terry McCann's there on the door. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Every door. I'd, I've been watching all the old time. minders Every. recently, yeah. Just watching them. And I, I've just watched the, uh, the first one of the second minder coming as it were oh the, and, the um, imposter oh i like him after water it's not the same oh water, i man. like him i i like Ooh. him and controversial uh, keith That's when controversial. when uh when these fellas are smashing up the winchester and arthur walks in with raymond and he gets involved raymond he beats two of them up and arthur says have you met my new minder and it brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> you sentimental. I am. Sir. I am. Look, you see, I'm welling up now. You see, right? I, I heard Van der Volk yesterday. That had that same effect. Van can can I just can I just say something here? I know you're the youngest in the band, and we don't expect you to. But that's a microphone. 
Right? Yeah, speaking don't, to the wall don't, don't don't really well it. Yeah. Do, doesn't really work on the radio, you see. <laughs> JW is not allowed yeah. a microphone. He's just come and told yeah. us he's the most experienced in radio interviews <laughs> and then talks to the wall. Yeah, well, that's because the wall... No, you're you doing know, it again. I can't remember, it's because you pointed at it that time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll point at the microphone. Let's have that's another it. song. Let's have one of your songs. What, yes. what, what yes. is the actual title of this? Right, this song is called uh, Something Deep Inside and this one no, is... called Out of Control. Is it going to be called Out of Control? Or is it something deep? Yeah, inside? well, Mama named it. Uh, well, when we, when we had decided something deep inside, inside out of control. Out, something inside is out of control. We finished yeah, at eight o'clock. Right. Okay, yeah. So okay. this song, this is our other cover, isn't it? Uh, yes. This was originally released in the seventies by uh, a big band called uh, Dick Fiddley and the Tiny Ramblers, and we Hi, hope you enjoy it. Good song though. Charlie Farley Sunday 4 oh, yes. with 
something deep inside brackets out of control close brackets <laughs> we had a bit of dispute as to uh, what the uh, title of that is now and now we've been joined by adam hello how you doing and the others have been running a sweepstake on how long it is before you start fiddling with those knobs on the desk there <laughs> well, i won't fiddle with the knobs however i will just uh, give a quick shout out if you don't mind hello rosie hello freddie hello joe Yes, they decided to uh, join us They've joined at six us, o'clock. Yes, yes, they did. Yes. Oh, I I, they way past their bedtime. And that's why right now Keith's asked me to start reading Harry Potter to you over the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry, Harry Potter and the radio station of Azkaban. I, I yeah. like uh, Hagrid. Do you? I, I, so think, do I, think, I think it's yeah. tremendous. I, I think I've seen all the Harry Potter films and couldn't tell you one of the stories. But um, the the funniest <laughs> thing thing that I've I've ever seen is uh, do you know uh, John Joe Shelby, no, the, no, the, the football know. player? No. no. Well, what I'll do is I I will uh, play a song right, and then I'll get a picture of John Joe Shelby, and you'll you'll see the we'll uh, go up on the, the Radio Woking Facebook page. No, it won't go on there because I don't know how to do that. In fact, <laughs> I am. I am uh, a, a manager or something on that page, and I can't oh, yeah. even post on oh, it. Okay. it. It does what it does with me at UJAM, sticks it in the side. You see, <laughs> yeah. I'm not allowed to actually do anything. Right? It's not very nice, is it? No. Uh, no. Do, so you, you're side. talking to, to the I'm wall doing, again. I'm, doing, I'm yeah. looking at yeah. you now, so I'm being yeah. polite. Though. Here we go. I'll move right in. Oh, look, I can hear it in my ears now. Yes, I've Now I'm feeling you. We're crackling. We're crackling. Mm -hmm. but like, uh, like a good bit of pork. Cooking on, cooking on so gas. So we, we were saying there about uh, not being allowed to put anything on Facebook. Yeah? Mm, oh, well, yeah. You, you were agreeing. Yeah. Yeah. We, it, 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 there control are many, freaks. There are many. No, there are many levels of Facebook stuff. Uh, uh, just, just to say, uh, brother JW is a content creator. Can post anything he likes. Yeah, but I'm not allowed near microphones or anything. You Usually. Know. Yeah. I mean, if it's to do, with the, to, to do with the band, I'm not allowed. I can post on my own page, <laughs> but <Yeah>. even that, <laughs> it's quite often I get told by Facebook you have to take that down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Zuckerberg knocking on your door. How many people have you got in your phone book beginning with Z? Just the one. Just him. Yes. He's, he's there, you know. What are you doing with my creation, putting that rubbish on? I can't help it. So, Well, I'm, I'm going to play another song now. Joss Stone has a oh. new song out. She hasn't oh. been around for a long, long time, no. has she? Well, she has. I mean, she's not released anything. She's probably been doing lots of things in America because uh, now listening to it, she's become English again. Please tell me she's gone back to being soul again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sort of, yes. Yes. Um, hopefully. Oh, because she's living back in uh, the West Country because those two fellas, they had a kidnap plot, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, they were, yeah, they were, were going to kidnap her and the police luckily got the intelligence and uh, headed them off at the pass. Yeah, they were on guys. their way to kidnap Josh Stone. How terrible, because the worst thing about it would be that basically no one would have noticed. But uh, good job you didn't have that microphone, really. I was just about to turn it towards you. I think we'll forget that. I'm going to uh, play the song from Just Stone. This is Just Stone. It better be good, Just. And the answer. It better be good. You are listening to Radio Woking. This is Radio Wogey, but I can't say it as nicely as those young ladies. You're listening to Keith Woodhouse, my guest in the studio. Ah, oh, Charlie Farley Sunday 4, yeah. and we have two of them, which I would like Fantastic. to say is 50%. Yeah. But it isn't 50%. What I would like to know is, how comes there's five in Charlie Farley Sunday 4? There used to be six. I was just about to say that. Just give me a chance, will you please? <laughs> Are you trying to get down to the four? No, no, we're certainly not trying no, to get down to the floor. It's a tax dodge, isn't it? It's, it is a tax dodge. Yeah. It's a many, many years ago. Said it. It's a family tax dodge from many years ago. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you've uh, explained that. We have we have a we have a um, a couple of uh, a couple of silent brothers in the band yeah. who basically who basically are given over for tax purposes. They all live in the Maldives. So well, you um, you find this funny, right? But tomorrow morning, when you have not 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 from Mr. Osborne's representatives <laughs> on your door, you won't be laughing, will you? You'll be laughing. No, sorry, right. I'll, I'll come to I'll come to a deal with them, just like Starbucks. I'll tell you, young man, you'll be laughing on the other side of your face. <laughs> now that's a great trick if you can do it, isn't it? I'll wipe that <laughs> smile off your going in. <laughs> You wipe it off. Get it all right, the way right. around the back. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, right. Now, this is John Joe Shelby, right? Keith at the moment is showing me a picture on the internet of a man with a bald head uh, and a monobrow and um, a slightly quizzical look. He's now, also a footballer. Now, someone said he looks like Voldemort. 
He does look a bit like Voldemort, but yeah. with a nose. Yeah, right. And the West Ham fans, when he came to warm up, were singing, Harry Potter, he's coming for you. <laughs> 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 and uh, if you if you Google it on YouTube, you'll uh, actually get the clip of someone who's filmed it on their <laughs> camera phone. And um, even the fellows that were uh, warming up with him found it extremely funny. <laughs> <laughs> those, so, uh, those Cockneys, huh? those Cockneys, they're just simply well, full I, of song. I, I, full of song. As, uh, I, I have been told on good authority that John Joe Shelby is actually a West Ham supporter in real life. Okay. Right. Well, someone's so, got to be. That's it. <laughs> oh, I, think, I, have, oh, I, have, I have it on good expelled. I have it on good notice that my granddad may or may, may not have played for them during the war. Yeah, my granddad may or may not have played for them as well, you know. I think Michael Caine <laughs> played for them, didn't he, during Did the war? He? Or was oh, that well. just a movie? With no, Sylvester Stallone? Not a lot of people know that. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Michael Caine actually went to my old school during the war. Did he? Yeah, true that. Absolutely true. How about Sylvester, still, uh, Sylvester Stallone? Did he? No, he didn't go, did no, he? Because no. he's American. No, yeah, right. where he says yeah. he's Yeah. I think he is. I'm pretty sure he comes from Dorking. Who? Sylvester Stallone. Oh, Sylvester Stallone, yeah. yeah. Of the yeah. Dorking Stallones. Yes. <laughs> the Dorking Stallones. Yeah. Absolutely. People forget about them a lot. Yes. I, I, I imagine they would, right? It's the hills. It gets <laughs> lost yeah. in the hills of Dorking. Right? <laughs> Did you know Sh- Sheffield is built, built on seven hills, the same as Rome? Is it? It's oh, true that, yeah. That. yeah. Sheffield, Sheffield is Sheffield. built in Sheffield. Google. Right, I will Google this. I will Google. I don't think, a picture I don't think we of Sheffield. need Google anymore. I just think people ought to just phone Keith up and ask. Yeah, him just stuff. ring me, right? That's and right. and when it, when it comes ask up Keith. in the pub quiz, right? Yeah, I could be on the TV, couldn't I? And I tell you what, if ever I'm on yeah. that, if ever I'm on that, do you want to be a millionaire show? I shall definitely know who my uh, who my phone a friend friend will be. Yeah, and and Keith. It, yeah. wouldn't it be the one that I get wrong? Well, of course it would. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah be, uh, definitely one hundred and ten percent. Oh, I thought you meant the other one. On that show, do you get? to have a list of phone a friend friends where you well they've got to have you, the number you, I mean, haven't they well they so don't they just go for the phone book they don't just go oh yeah i'm gonna phone there i mean are you allowed to have like one phone a friend friend if it's a, if it's a thing about flags and a different phone a friend friend who knows loads you, about you football? can choose six. you have to have one person who's no, just you, really clever you can choose six can you choose six as long as one knows about flags right, right? <laughs> once and they test them once right. you know one's just a, a campanologist who's really good on bells there's another yep. one who's just only knows about 1947 just that year. Their home number. Or yeah, their mobile number. Because what if they're not in? And yeah, what if they're out? And then you're like, that's embarrassing. What if they're making they're a be cup in? Of they're going to be in because you're on yeah. TV. You're, yeah, you're, no, you're no, it's recorded. Is it recorded? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was live. I mean, no, it doesn't matter. They just have to push pause while you wait for your. Yeah. Mate so they, they they sort of like what what they do is they've also got the number of the local taxi firm, right? <laughs> <laughs> so when they phone a friend, they go, "Hello, this is Chris Tarrant. Is that Eric? No, this is his wife. Can I speak to Eric, please? He's on the million pound question." Oh, you can't speak to Eric. He's not in. Okay, we'll ring a local taxi firm. They've ring a local taxi firm. Can you find Eric? And they go out looking for him. Really? See, that's the person to ask. If you've lost anyone, ask the local taxi firm mm-hmm. because they're all radio controlled. They see them in the street. They radio it in. They go, Alpha 1 to base. Just seen Eric. <laughs> I think that's very dangerous, though, isn't it? Having having radio controlled cabs because the the bloke with the, the radio control, can you see where they're going? Absolutely, and if he I mean, sneezes, it's what a pileup it could uh, be on the M1. An waiting to happen, madness. Yeah. They're madness. quite small, aren't they? It's about radio controlled cars. Yeah, yeah. They're very it's hard to get into. They're not human size. Yeah, yeah, but what you do is you strap one to each foot. Right, <laughs> uh, just hope that they're synchronised. Yeah, I mean, if one goes to Guildford and the other one goes to Bramley, then you've had it. That mate. could be a very painful it, incident. It Woo! certainly would, yeah. and it would be worse than his operation without anesthetic that well, we performed back to the in the first front front half of, of the mind. show. I was just getting over right? that as well. He was just just recovering. He was in the recovery position there. Either that or he was asleep. And Jay's now <laughs> yeah, trying yeah. to get in. Jay thought, <laughs> no, right, I've been out, no, I've no, had my nicotine fix. We only came back because uh, Adam used the safe word oh uh, did he, he said <laughs> yes he said campanologist yes and uh when we hear that we have to come back in the studio yes that's, that's his safe word that's the, that's the word that he uses yeah. yeah yes right well what we will do is we will have another song let's let's have one of yours Ooh. oh yeah one of mama's. so um mm. yeah well we should have actually worked this out a yeah. little bit earlier so that one there that you have queued up is just fine is it Which, royals? royals yeah royals yeah. this is uh this is common royals not to be confused with uh with the song royals is it what's about the tv or show or the tv show is umbrella really good the royal family yeah let's let's, yeah. let's dial up umbrella oh we're going to do umbrella instead we're not oh, well, going to do royals week. 
to, to publicise the show. Oh, this, well, you can have but I haven't played version. Royals. Play this special live version. This is a live version that I've been playing. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. This is a different one. special, more special. Uh, the, 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 I'll tell you what, let me play one of mine and then we'll work out which oh, one yeah, of yours we'll play. Sounds like a plan. Right? And, uh, oh, this is Jungle. Right? Do you like Jungle? Massive. Yeah? I like. Massive. I like, uh, dun, 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 I like going on holiday dun, dun, just, dun, just, in the jungle. Just dun, for a dun. moment, Jungle are actually booked to headline at. London's 5,000 capacity Brixton Academy. Now, this is proof that people are getting slimmer because the last time I went there, it only held 3,000. Yeah, no, that's right. right. And they talk obesity about an obesity crisis. Is on the wane. It's good. It's on the way out. In Either Brixton. that or they've got a door policy. Right? Well, in Brixton, they haven't got any food. So and they've, they've slimmed down, haven't they? Since the wall went up around it. Mm-hmm. Nobody's been able to get any food in, any food out. Well, what what Brixton are we talking about? Yeah. You know, the one in London where the siege is on. Oh, that I haven't been up there. The Brixton Brick siege. Brixton, yeah. yeah. I thought Robbie brought all the bricks down. Well, they've Who's recently dead? played at Bournemouth's O2 Academy, but now they're going to Brick. Are they only doing places with B? Yeah. With B, is that B how they're doing and it? O in they'll it. They're right? Brighton soon. Bromley. 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 Academy. Yeah. Bromley. Brussels. Bramley, Bruges, Bramley, yeah. the Bramley Academy, the yeah. Bramley O2 O2 Academy, Bramley. Academy. Bramley. It's, it's yeah. held every couple yeah. of years in one of those pubs there. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's the a Wheat nice. It's we mean Wheat Chief, That's right. One, one of those pubs there. How many pubs are there in Bramley? Bramley loads. Two. You'd be surprised. Every, 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 I only know <laughs> one. <laughs> there's, there's two. two no, there's two. Door they're door right next door to each other. Some people think they're one big pub. Yeah. And at midnight, people come out of both pubs and they fight with knives. What is it? The Onslow Arms? No, no. That's in that's in Clandon. That's in Clandon. Clandon. Right, so what what one have we got? You've got the wheat sheaf, and just before it, you've got the... Oh, I'm getting Bramley mixed up with somewhere else. Wanush, something like that. Grantley in Wanush. Yeah, it's the Grantley Arms in Wanush. Yeah, 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 I'm getting completely... You are right, the the wheat sheaf and the uh, Jolly Farmer. This is the Radio Woking pub guide, complete with all the local knowledge that you need. It's not even the good pub guide. No, no, this is the bad pub guide. Yes, they are good pub guides. It's not a reflection on the pubs, just the guide. No, it's just the guide, right? And if you do need to know anything about all the local pubs you can find it on the free to download app postcode gu postcode gu postcode gu yeah. well i can say well hello wiggy fans this is touch from touch the meters and you're listening to keith in number one this is jackie that rule the nation give it to me one time uh! a one two three four Hands up in the air, come on now. Let's pretend it's Saturday and we've gone to a gig, that's it. Cameraman, get a shot of that. Don't you know I sing myself to sleep? A song from the darkest hour Secrets I can't keep inside of the day I swing from high to deep Extremes of sweet and sour Hope that God exists I hope, I pray a drawn down by the undertow My life is out of control I believe this wave will bear my way So let it go Push it out, push it out, push it out Sit down next to me Sit That you've been to some far up places Hard to carry on when you feel all alone So now I've swung back round again And it's worse than it was before If I hadn't seen such riches 
Public service broadcasting and go. You see, I can remember the title of that one. It's uh, very, very clever there, and I played it especially for uh, Adam. I love that band. Because he told me last week he loved that band. I do love that He's band. He's never off this show. <laughs> they look a brother to me. <laughs> I sleep under one of the desks just out there in the studio <laughs> yeah. at night. They put, they're going to put me to bed again in a while, just underneath a couple of old guitars and a violin. It's really good. Charlie gets all of the double bed that you used to have to share with him now. Yes. yes. He loves that. Well, but, he's, 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 he should be grateful he's come out the chest of drawers. He well, needs, he has. He needs, the, he, needs the, uh, he needs the space for his feet, doesn't he? His he does. giant, huge feet. Am so, where, where are we then, Boots? Are we yeah, going to play this song? Uh, toxic. Should we play Toxic? Oh, yeah, let's play Toxic. Yeah, because this Sandy. Is, Mum used to love this song, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. She loved when this she wrote it. And yeah. then... Uh, she I went thought these were in... Uh, uh, you and me sing it. Yeah, she did. Which she doesn't like the way we do it. No, she doesn't. She thinks, yeah. she thinks her dad did it better, really. Yeah. But Because um, it was originally just uh, arranged for spoons, wasn't it? Spoons you sure it's vocal. actually on here? <laughs> Reasonably sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. We've come to yeah, it. Yeah, yes. yeah, it is. Ah. It's another eighty-nine minute song. Yeah, it is. Uh, this one, yeah, this one lasts three and a half years. This one, uh, yeah. but that's why Mum doesn't like it. Really, I think so. She says it goes on a bit. I think I'd better play it actually. <laughs> Otherwise, we're never going to get it in before the end of the show. Absolutely. So, that's would, what she would said. you would you like to introduce it? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'd love to introduce this. Yeah, this is a song that Mama wrote. Um, that the famous jazz musician Blind Lemon Spears stole from her. Uh, and that was back in the 30s. And uh, Blind Lemon, he stole this song and he passed it down through his family line until it ended up with his somewhat slutty granddaughter who had a hit with it. Uh, but this is uh, our version, which is how it was originally uh, arranged in the jazz clubs in the 30s. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four... Give you up, I took the train, or I'm 
with me now With your lover now Think I'm ready now I think I'm ready now Intoxicate me now With your lover now Think I'm ready now I think I'm ready now Charlie Farley, Sunday Four, and Toxic, oh, and uh, they are applauding yeah, themselves. They're very good. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. they're they're a jolly good band. They they are. Are. Well them. worth we going to see, them. actually. In fact, where can we see you? Twenty second of June. That's to Monday, the twenty second of June. Monday, this month. Monday. Monday, the Monday the twenty second of June. Night. We're doing a celebration of the longest day of the year that will have happened the day, day before, before that. Yeah, yeah. Um, which that's, is a that's slight that's miscalculation. When winter starts. And we, yes, it is. It's the first first day of winter. Is that's your reason we're not doing it on the longest day. Is that? Yeah. I don't know that. Well, it, it's because of you that we're. Oh, is that, it? that other thing you've got on the oh, longest day? Oh, yeah. Ben I have got oh, yeah. You know, with the, I with have the to roads. Do my he has to, yeah. Yeah. Have you told me we weren't going? <clears throat> no. no, well, you know, oh, I, I said. said oh, this, this is what awkward. We're about. This no, is yeah, awkward. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Get it now. No, no, you, we are going. I'm going to go the day before. That's exactly what we're going to Unbeknownst to most people, Jason is, in fact, playing the part this year of Chief Druid down at Stonehenge. Um, it's great. We we can be seen at the Onslow Arms in Clandon on the 22nd of June, which is a lovely pub, and it's going to be a really great gig, that one. At which point you'll all have to call me High Druid. We will. He'll still be in Druid mode. He'll, oh, the beard will be on. Oh. I'll be covered in JW's blood. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, not again. I don't know if I'm going to have any left after, the <laughs> no. after, the after the heart surgery. Fair. After that. still we... coming out. He hadn't stitched me up very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a bit. you up a treat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you up like a kipper. <laughs> But uh, no, and uh, so yeah, that, that's seconds. it. Is it one gig? Well, no, we have a lot of gigs, but yes. they're not local to the Woking area. Mostly, because... we're uh, we're playing across the country with Al uh, Al Murray, the uh, it's pub, a pub landlord in. hardest. Yeah, and it turns out he wasn't a real pub landlord. We got there. It we... wasn't. It wasn't even in a pub. No, he hasn't got a pub. He hasn't even got a booze. pub. It's ridiculous. No. And now he hoinks us all around the country. Hoink. Hoink. What a great Hoink. word. He does. He hoinks what us a around great the country. Uh, so we've got to go off and do things like that. If you're going to the Edinburgh Festival, though, we will be uh, in week three for That's ten right. all ten days. Mm. So it's sort of top ten days. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We have five people in the Charlie Five. Is that how you managed to get so much done? And now we're getting ten days. That's a ten day. Week for next purposes. Edinburgh a week. Yeah. We're not strictly numerate. I don't know if you picked up on this. Yeah, no, we do music. We don't do maths. So the two, two local gigs that you can see us at, in fact, I'll give you three. There's a 22nd of June at the Onslow Arms in Clandon. That's a Monday masquerading as a Friday. A Monday pretending to be a Friday. Then we have Saturday, the 27th of June, at Farnham Carnival, which we like to call Farnival. Farnival, and that's in the daytime, isn't it? Farnham that Carnival. Oh, Farnham we're Carnival. doing Farnival. That should be around one thirty. I think. Yeah, it's well, going to have to be. Somewhere early on, because somewhere we have early. to skate off. and Because um, we've got to go, go and play else. with that false publican. <laughs> false publican. <laughs> I, I, need to, I, I need to go through what gigs we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one, that, uh, another one that everyone should really enjoy and should come down to see is Sunday the 6th of September. Oh. We are playing at the Mighty Wayfest. The Mighty Wayfest. Please buy a ticket for Wayfest. It is the best is local awesome. festival that we do. Best festival. Um, the world. It's the best festival, yeah, in the, in the universe, isn't it? Uh, apparently, People it got that award from, this year. It won that this year. Well, the one and and what time would we be on? What time it, would the Charlie Farley Sunday 4 be on at Wayfest to help well, people remember? Um, uh, in order to help me remember it, I managed to get us on the stage at four on the Sunday. So that's Sunday, so, at Sunday at four. four for yeah. Sunday the at four. Oh, song. isn't that brilliant? Yeah, at Wayfest. That's fantastic. That, that is great planning. Yeah, that what is. What happens uh, when gonna, five of you turn up? Well, there's going to be six because Chesterfield, our performing monkey, will be at Wayfest. He's definitely Antony. coming this year. Uh, and Tony, oh, yeah. I mean, there's obviously the other 12 that stand out the back. but uh, with the, the Silent right, Brothers. The Silent Brothers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for tax purposes. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You wait until tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah, I hope, I hope not George Osborne you. never <laughs> fails to tune <laughs> in <laughs> to the watch <laughs> show. <laughs> George Osborne is listening to Radio Woking, I've got a couple of things I want to say to him. Yeah. The watershed. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, George, which football team are you Actually, pretending to support? If George Osborne is listening, I, I I really prefer the Sabbath years when you were singing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, seems yeah. a lot better than Sharon. Yeah. Sharon. Sharon. The, new, the new stuff's rubbish. All that stuff yeah. is rubbish. But, yeah. but yeah, no, I really prefer the Sabbath with you. He doesn't singing, seem George. to be writing melodies. He doesn't know. Uh, no. He just stands up, doesn't he, and talks he's, numbers. He's better at numbers and oh, he, yeah. at which point yeah. he loses us completely. He does. Because as we've established. We're in. We're in yeah, and that <laughs> yeah, will yeah, be yeah. the excuse we're using in court. Yes. Oh, 
Well, we, we can't stop now because we've got a minute left. <laughs> 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 right. sure just just suddenly yeah. stop. Yeah. We thought you might want to wrap to up, but we'll do it for you. You've been <laughs> listening to uh, yeah. the yeah. Keith Woodhouse show on Radio Woking, and today's show was brought to you by the letter E and the numbers four and three thousand four hundred and twenty-one. <laughs> 3,421. That's yeah. how many shopping days there is till the end of the world, Keith. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Millie Ways, the restaurant at the end of the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that, that was it, isn't it? That well, let's, let's talk about it next. Yes. You, are, you are more than welcome. Yeah, it's, been, uh, it's been really too funny. long, so uh, we must do this again. And rest sometime. in peace, Lovely. Charlie. Rest in peace. We yeah. should just say rest in peace, yes. Charlie. And yeah. uh, we'll do it on a day when his probation officer lets him out yes. a little bit longer. But next week on the show, I have <laughs> Betsa Collins. Yeah. She's going to be appearing... Uh, and playing and uh, singing, and she's ably backed by her mother, believe it or not. So have a safe week. James is on after the news. I will see you next Thursday.